Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and this month I'm going over some of my favorite ensembles from the Reactor User Library and today we're checking out Rur by Herwig Krass. Alright, so this is a modular synthesizer with a completely flexible signal path and routing system. So you can create some very unique setups with this synthesizer. And I'm going to show you how it works from scratch. So I'm just going to start with an initialized patch from the third sound bank that uh, makes no sound at all on its own. And in order to get some sound out of it, we're going to need to create a signal path. So in order to do that, we have access to outputs that are these brown, um, grayish, really, uh, circles here, and inputs, which are these um, lighter green circles. So in order to connect an output to an input, first you uh, click on the output, and then uh, the next time you cl click on an input, it will be connected to the last chosen output. And you can disconnect a connected input simply by clicking on it again. So most of these are polyphonic inputs and outputs, anything with a white background. But this bottom square in the right hand corner here is a monophonic area. So anything that is um, in that area, uh, we'll only accept and send monophonic signals. So at the very edge of that, we have this mixer container here that um, will translate a monophonic signal, or sorry, a polyphonic signal into a monophonic signal so you can send it to the outputs. All right, so let's set up a simple synthesizer. We're going to start using the MIDI 2 module, which has four outputs. We have the pitch 1 and the pitch 2. And the pitch 1 is just our pitch, and pitch 2 is um, the same pitch detuned by our detune knob up at the top here. And we also have two gate outputs. One is just outputting the gate velocity, and the other one is uh, always presuming a maximum velocity for any gate that you receive. In order to connect our MIDI pitch to any of our oscillators, we can simply connect the pitch 1 output to the P input of any um, container labeled with an SCO label, and there are several. And we'll also want to connect our gate output to one of the ADSR envelopes. And there's a bunch of them on the interface. I like to use this one down here. All right, so now we have our oscillator and our envelope, and we're going to connect them together using the SCA, or Signal Controlled Amplifier. So let's connect the output from our oscillator to the input of the amplifier and we'll connect the output of our ADSR into the input of the uh, the modulation input of the amplifier. And it's tempting just to connect the output from here directly into our speakers, but if we do, we'll get no sound. This is because this is a polyphonic signal and we're attaching it into the monophonic area. So we'll use the um, <coughs> mixer I mentioned earlier to um, translate the signal from polyphonic to monophonic and it should work just fine. Alright, so this is as bare bones as it can get right now. It's just a simple oscillator and an envelope. It's about as basic as a synth can get really. Alright, so let's expand upon this a little bit to make a simple 4 oscillator synth with a uh, filter built in as well. So I'm just going to connect the pitch output into the inputs of several signal controlled oscillators. 
And we can wire all four of those oscillators into this mix input here. Um, so this module has four inputs and a single output. So we can mix all four of these oscillators together and then send them to the uh, signal controlled amplifier at once and control all four of them with a single envelope. And even without a filter, that gives us a lot more character. get some more interesting timbres out of, you know, modulating the pulse width. And you also have access to pitch mods for each of the oscillators as well. Alright, so next I'm just going to uh, insert a filter in between the signal controlled amplifier and our mixer here. So I'm going to connect the output of the mixer into the input of our ladder filter, connect the output of the ladder filter back into the input of the signal controlled amplifier. And this will give us a low pass filter in between the two. Alright, so let's grab one of the other ADSRs on our interface here, connect a gate to it, and use the output to control the cutoff point of our filter. This is a very standard control scheme. Okay, so the purpose of our monophonic area at the bottom here is that we can use it to insert uh, effects that would be too expensive to really bother with in polyphonic versions. So we can add reverb, for example. And one thing to be careful of is at the bottom of all of these, there's a little bypass button that's on by default. So make sure to turn your effects on. All right, so obviously there's going to be a million or more different possibilities of ways that you can wire the synth up, and I haven't even had time to really even cover the top half of the interface here, but this ensemble has a lot of depth to it, and it's one that once you get the basics of how it works down is a lot of fun to play around with, so hopefully you guys will go check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Uh, once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. If you guys like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, coming out with a new Reactor video once a week. Alright, and hopefully I'll see you again next week.